Welcome to tonight's Five on Five. I'm joined by Doug Brown and Mark Dodson, both of them founders of The Basin Brew and Q. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Doug, I'll start off with you. What is The Basin Brew and Q? This is the first year you guys are doing it, right? Yes, it is. Uh, well, basically, we hatched the idea here about six months ago, and uh, basically, it's going to be a beer tasting and a barbecue competition. Uh, similar to some others around here, uh, but it's going to be at our, our great venue, which is going to be Steen Sports Park over in Klamath Falls, Oregon. Mm. And I guess, uh, Mark, what went into this? You said six months ago or so you decided we're going to do this. Why? We were looking for an event to have in Klamath Falls that would try to start raising money for the community and giving back to the community and also the sports park. So we sat down together and came up with this idea. Wow. And six months later, here it is. Yes. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's already here. So what can people expect, Doug, when they come? Are they going to be able to bring their kids, that kind of thing? Yeah, it's going to be community friendly. We actually will have an area for the kids uh, with bounce castles, uh, actually adult bounce castles also. Uh, <laughs> so the Children's Museum is going to help us there, which is a local charity, and, and they're a wonderful organization. Uh, we have a great venue, again, in Steen Sports Park, which is huge. Uh, we have a backdrop of Mount Shasta behind us. Uh, you, you know, facility-wise, I think it's probably one of the best ones that uh, that will be utilized for this type of event. Wow. And, Mark, what exactly can people expect? You said that there would be all sorts of different brews that people can taste, some barbecue. Uh, how many vendors are we talking? How many people will be there? So right now we've got 12 different brewers coming into town. Um, we have a barbecue competition going on, and then we've also got some local food vendors coming up for the day. So a little bit for everybody. Any prizes for that barbecue competition? So we got a, we have prizes for the both the breweries as well as the barbecue competition. So like I said, a little bit, little bit for everybody. Wow! And what kind of work has gone into this? Have you guys had to pull the community in on this and really get everyone to become a part of it? I really think this is something that Klamath Falls has needed and wanted for some time. The response has been incredible. Uh, ticket sales are going briskly. Um, I, I, this is going to be a wonderful, a wonderful event for our community, and uh, we expect it to grow very, very quickly, and we expect to be a success the first year. Okay, we'll hear much more about the Basin Brew and Q, the first one ever, when we return. Stay with us. Welcome back again. I'm joined here by Doug Brown and Mark Dotson, both founders of the Basin Brew and Q, the first annual that you guys will be holding. Mm -hmm. When will it be held? That's a big question. Well, it's coming right up. It's going to be Saturday, July 11th. It'll start at 11 o'clock in the morning, go till 10 o'clock at night. Okay. And Mark, how much are we expecting for it to cost? What can people, what will people need to shell out for it? So it, the cost of the event is $10. It includes a souvenir pint glass which includes some tickets to sample the brews that we have on site. Okay, great. And the money that you guys raise, where is that going to a charity or what's it going to be used for? Well, you know, this is something we want to grow. And, you know, kind of when we looked at it, Steen Sports Park is a growing community uh, event area. We wanted to make sure that part of, part of the money went back to them. Also, uh, part of it's going to go to Climate Freedom as we grow events out there because we hope to have more community events. Our goal is to make it, like I said, more of a community park. So we want to venture into that part of it. And of course, you know, we want to put a little bit back so we can build it each and every year so we can make it better and better and better. Very cool. And assuming it's going to be hot, uh, what should people be packing? Uh, what can they expect to see there? What should they bring themselves? That kind of thing. Again, because it's the first year, we're not really sure what the weather is going to hold or where we're at. We're encouraging people to bring lawn chairs as well as we're allowing them to bring up their pop-up shade canopies. We're going to have a dedicated area for their canopies. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to also have some tenopy, tents and canopies on site, but we are encouraging them to bring their own. Okay, so bring those lawn chairs out, make it a really community event, really right. comfortable. That's mm -hmm. what, exactly what you guys are trying to do, right? Exactly. We just want to make it fun for everybody in a casual atmosphere. Um, again, this is something that we want our community to fall in love with and be part of, and not just our community, uh, everybody in the, the surrounding areas to come and visit us and have a good time when they're here. Okay, and if anybody wants more information about where they might find tickets or where, how they might buy those tickets, where can they go? We have a Facebook page set up at Klamath Freedom Celebration and the base of Rubik's Cube. Okay, perfect. And so just before we leave, the who, what, when, where, why, it's going to be Saturday, June, or July 11th. Correct. Okay, $10. Correct, and, and, and that includes your, your mug and your five 
event tickets. Wow, and where is it again? Steen Sports Park. Park. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Hope thank the you event for having turns us. out huge. We thank do you. too. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back.